And we are back. It is the grand finals, everybody. We've got two incredible teams going at it soon. But first, we're going to talk to some of their players, see how they're feeling, getting ready to get hyped up and ready to go. So on my left, we got Trademark with St. Louis University. But let me tell you a little fun fact about Trademark over here. Rank one Jakar in the closed beta. So tell me, how are you feeling? Are you excited to land? You know, you're going up against the wonderful Lakeland University once more. How are you feeling so far? I'm uh, feeling pretty good. We had the collegiate beta test uh, tournament that went really well for us. We felt we were underseeded in that. We outperformed our seed because I think that our teamwork sets us ahead of other teams, even if our rank might not necessarily be up to their par. Uh, I'm looking forward to another great match just like our first one. All right, you love to hear it. And now Soren had the rank two collegiate team for Lakeland over here and Omega in the closed beta. So tell me, how are you feeling? You guys did lose originally to St. Louis earlier. So going back in this matchup, going to be competing against St. Louis again. How are you feeling? I mean, pretty good, actually. Uh, we did a lot of auto reviewing between the matches against uh, the St. Louis team. I mean, a lot of grinding. Our team put a lot of preparation to this. Shout out to the boys who grinded for 15 hours straight before going on our car ride. Okay. Pretty much played all day and then a 14-hour car ride here. So, I mean, we're feeling pretty good and uh, excited to play against St. Louis again. Yeah, great, great, great. And now I have one more thing for both of you, right? Like you mentioned, 15 hours of dedication. This game takes dedication, commitment, power, and way too much effort than I'm willing to put into it, which is why you guys are up there and I'm right here. So, tell me. Who would you like to shout out? Trademark, let's start with you. Uh, everyone on my team, fantastic. They've been with me since the closed beta. I had to pester them a lot to get into it eventually, and then once they got in, they've been with me from the very start. Zoro especially. Uh, I literally put out on our Discord that we needed someone to play goalie, and he hopped on immediately and has been there working, working his butt off ever since. Uh, especially our coach, Blaze Tornado. He's been fantastic for his macro vision of the game and all the prep work he puts in. Just helps make us make sure that we're prepared and keep like level-headed throughout the matches. Yeah, of course. Got to shout out those teams. Soren, you already shouted out your team a little bit. You want to shout out anyone else before going in? Yeah, of course. I mean, a big shout out to our coach, Coach Yoki. Dude has put so much time and dedication into raising us to the level we're at right now. I can't thank him enough. That dude is so amazing and one of the nicest people I've met in the community. Uh, I mean, shout out to my friends and family. Got all the Lakeland boys watching at home. I got my mom watching right now. So love you, mom. She'll, lo she'll love that. She'll love that. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, a big thanks to Witching specifically. Uh, our third originally wasn't able to play from pre-alpha. And I DM Witching, I was like, hey, so I know there's like a month out, but do you want to pick up this game and like get cracked with us? And he's like, hell yeah. And he dropped like everything he was doing to just play this game nonstop. So yeah, shout out to Witchings and of course EP Han. <laughs> Love it. We got shout outs to teams. We got shout outs to the moms, to the families, and to everyone in between. Players, go ahead, take your seats, warm up for a little bit longer. No, this is game one. I, I do oh. believe that we want to sit back for a moment on this yeah. one. We are in Atlas's lab. As we do see the bands begin to come out, we will see the band coming out from Lakeland. We see Atlas and Asher Atlas taken Asher. out. As for the characters, Lakeland. Looks Lind. like we're going to get it, guys. Yeah, we see the Kai locked in first. And then will it be gilded oh. in full gold. We, we want to be careful we, on this. We sit in anxious anticipation. Is Drum he going to do it? There, there it is. is. Okay, right. <laughs> so here we are. We have an X. For the first time today, um, not a double um, brawler comp. I mean, uh, Rasmus can be deadly, um, and especially, I mean, keeping Witchings on his most comfortable. Oh my character God! Is hold on a second. Important. Wow! Whoa! I think it's double X. Do we have a? Yeah. <laughs> double yeah. X matchup, and this is Whoa. what I was saying. And so you have so much damage on both of these sides. So you have Kai, which can put out an absurd amount of damage from goalie. You have the Estelle, you have the Rasmus, and then you have double X. This is what I was talking about. Yeah. These, basically, these double brawlers, even though Estelle isn't technically a brawler, but she puts out so much damage, she might as well be. Yeah, and certainly can build to be a brawler, depending on Awakens taken um, oh, between man. games. But Ethan's yeah, here come him. the X's. Oh, and Just he will not die. <laughs> duking it out at the bottom of the screen. This is what we've missed all day today. And what better way to wrap up this tournament than to have an X mirror matchup. 
slug and fist against each other. I love this. Yeah, now I will say, so trademark we've seen on Drakkar throughout this entire bracket, and now we're seeing the Estelle, which has arguably a very different play style, where Drakkar is invisible, he's stealthy, trying to get in your face. Estelle sits out of range, and then when she wants to blink in, she gets in real close. Yeah, and this Estelle, we have to talk about it, because unlike the Asher that we've Ooh. seen all day, the Asher, you have to clear away from her so she doesn't stuff you. But the Estelle, you kind of have to clear back into her, because otherwise that snipe shot is really going to clear wow. through you as X finds a nice pass from Trademark and just sinks one in from so past Soren. So oh, so that's why we saw X, is the we have the one, two. We have oh, the one, two punches, both consecutive X's. hits. Yeah, are starting with one, two punch. Very interesting adaptation. Uh, as we talk about, you know, the randomness of the map, there's also the randomness of the starting awakenings. That can be very important to determining who you're going to play. Oh, I think uh, Ethan's going to get knocked out in a second. Ethan oh, the punch just ran out. Wow, but look out for this black hole. Yes, the black hole is coming back in the middle again. Ooh, oh, careful. been incredibly well when he has been in this state of stagger because you should not be alive at this point especially when facing against characters who are so good at knocking you out but we're seeing now what we haven't seen a lot during this series is it's a lot of core flips not as much of the elusive use nice. as ethan knocks it in himself one quick punch with the gilded x and a couple of uh come on <laughs> bring it on in you know and I wish we had a microphone or a camera out in the arena right now because these teams are pumped up. This is one-to-one -one still extremely early in this game as these first two points have been very slow-paced, but, I mean, just slugfests, right? But uh, these teams are jacked to be here. And, I mean, what an exciting environment. Yeah, and I do, again, we're seeing it. There's going to be less core flips in this game. And it's by virtue of there being these sluggers where they can't just one stray hit, one awkward hit leads to situations like that where you need to be stealthy. You need to sit in this awkward spot because otherwise you're getting knocked out like X. Yeah, so we do see goal barriers down to the side of SLU. See if Lakeland can respond. Good coverage there by Zoro. Nothing too threatening yet as SLU maintains possession of the core, but here comes <laughs> here comes X. X is there down. Is. X is in fact gonna give it to you. Ethan punching it in, E.T. Han, excuse me. Um, I mean very, very well played. Yeah, I love the fact that we're seeing why X is so good is because this match, the tempo of this game is being run by X right now. The Rasmus is sitting back a little bit and looking for the playmaking elsewhere, as well as Estelle on the other side, who is, you know, you have that range opportunity, you are allowed to sit back oh, there. Wow. But beyond that, it's just a lot of who X is gonna oh, go for point. and set it all up. Two to two. And a really nice self pass off the corner there into the bell ringer to make it so that Soren just couldn't react. He just wasn't close enough. That hard hit on the bell ringer just making it way too fast for Soren. Yeah, and we also saw with the Awakenings the gear that they chose. No one went with the vicious like gauntlets. They went with the healing ones. Yeah, so Pummelers is one that we usually see Brawlers take Ooh. as we get a e. KO Han there. wins that one. <laughs> but the Vicious Van Brace is going to heal you for some of the damage that you deal. So it's going to help mitigate some of this damage that you're taking from all these uh, from all these damage sources. Yeah, it's just a lot of slugging around. <laughs> <laughs> as so both sides just one after another. We have a core flip, there it is. Oh, but well defended, and they pull Zoro's core flip as well. Now we have two ulted oh. Xs. The black hole explodes, but there will be no kill from it. The goal barrier falls oh. for Lake, and a great save by Sora, and to cover all sides as, oh, Witchings oh. makes a great save, but not for long as Trademark finds a snipe, and these 
players are going wild out in the arena. Oh my goodness. Oh. And one thing I want to touch back on is those core flips. Is Like you saw there, Zora was forced to use it because they have to use it for this evasive to dodge a lot of this damage. But the core flip can also be used offensively. So they're really being tested on whether they have to use it for evasive or they can save it and use it offensively. It's really difficult. Yeah, we see one X go for Big Fish. The other one snatched prime time away from the Kai's. I think that is bold. It's going to be strong, but it's bold. <laughs> yeah, so that Bell Ringer is going to be so much of your damage. Getting an extra one is actually pretty large because you see here, he's just brawling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, as they've been all, all day, but... Yeah, it's just one after another. Which Look at Rasmus, man. <laughs> so I guess X is the boogeyman of this series, but we'll see if that stays the case. But we do have um, First Blood drawn by SLU going up 1-0 in this series. Um, but Lakeland with plenty of, plenty of time and plenty of opportunities to respond. Certainly nothing to panic, panic about at all as this is also... <laughs> a best of three similar to the third place match. So got plenty of Omega Strikers left to watch and I'm stoked. Yeah. Yeah, uh, heck with these two X's, it's not even the boogeyman anymore. It's King Kong versus, <laughs> versus Godzilla. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> we've got a matchup of, what are those called? I can't even remember. Um, the Kaiju. Kaijus, that's it. Kaiju number one being X, Kaiju number two being other X. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, good look from Witchings, looking. but nice support by Trademark, realizing that Zoro might have been overwhelmed there. Really nice core flip to save from Zoro. My god, this core is going everywhere, but SLU feels in full control right now. Yeah, that overtime really, really putting that speed into the core as we put more, as Trademark and Call Coin really put more pressure on that side of the map, trying to get that last goal barrier to open those goal gates. Yeah, I mean, oh, coin close there. Man, coin is just sitting in the middle of them. Like, oh, and they finally get it. Nice. Oh, we see the Estelle dash come out. I do think we should be looking for Et Han. Should be looking after that Estelle blink comes out to start punishing trademark. Estelle isn't very oh. mobile otherwise. And the unlucky bounce off the bell ringer from Coins X actually sends it back and in, into an angle that Zoro just couldn't reach. Yeah, you cannot be ready for that. That was such a wild, just random angle. But we see Witchings take a big blow to start this round. Yeah. Oh, Witchings really taking the heat here. I mean, both, both sides just kind of having that slugfest. And I should acknowledge what else is happening right now because we're seeing both Kai's do a great job of really taking control of the game once it's out of X's hands. <laughs> um, they play back, they play safe. Nice. We see whenever these goal posts are like taken out, uh, it's through like pixels. Oh, wow, souls. what a play. Just pixels as E.T. Han. Look at him. He's feeling good. He's got that Gilded X using that emote. Again, come on. Face me. Yeah, and, and, I, and you it. actually see that big fish coming into play because the increased size is going to increase the size of your strike range. Being able to just, from so far away, strike that core means that they score. Yeah. As you see a death onto Witchings from Coin and Trademark there. Yeah, Coin actually using his... Um, core flip to finish that kill, but you see E.T. Han also has his own core flip. See if he uses that to find a pick, maybe on the point. Or, at this point, Estelle is looking very low oh, too, but E.T. Han is in his own, so in his own trouble. But, we see core flips come out from both sides, ultimately amount to nothing. And the game goes on as goal barrier number two drops for Lakeland, and we have open nets down. both directions. Here comes Coin, and there it is. X on X, man. I <laughs> one of them's gonna pound the core through the other one, and this one just happened to be coin. But that's that's the old. That's the power of that ult, right? I mean, being able to stun whoever may be in front of you uh, just by striking is so so strong.
Yeah, and now we're at this point where wow. St. Louis is the one on the back foot a little bit for this scoring. We've seen how much value they've had. Wow. But now Lakeland is showing a good amount of life as now it's 1-1. I, I love this. I the quick response, three quick quick goals um, oh. for Lakeland and okay. Now this is interesting. Unstoppable is on the board and we're noticing a brawling issue, right? Uh, people getting thrown around, especially with Erasmus on the map. The first guy opts for specialized training. There it goes. Yeah. So Et X Han, yeah, Et Han ends up with an unstoppable. More frequent secondary, and I believe that he... No, he already has the second primary charge. I was expecting Prime Fighter. I could be wrong, though. It's been a lot of back-and-forth KOs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's tough. Uh, so, Coin now finding himself with um, just a lot of cooldowns, right? I mean, you just saw two uh, primaries two secondaries all in the duration of his old, but he is getting thrown around right now. And he's got to look out for that black hole, oh. but no, he does not because the round is over. Trademark squeaking one in just barely to strike first in this series, one to one. Yeah, now we're hitting that point where it's becoming more prevalent. A lot of the other characters beyond X have much stronger, what I like to call the late game, where these awakenings, once they start stacking, they have a lot of potential. It can get out of hand for X. So we'll have to see if it starts scaling away Whoa. as the side for St. Louis loses their X. Wow, but Soren lets up both goal barriers, and that's dangerous. We have an open net for Lakeland while Zoro locking down his one remaining goal barrier. Coin is now back on the map. Um, but, man, look at these levels. It is one-to-one -one in this series right now, and the lowest level in this lobby is seven. And yeah. These players are duking it out as a good look there from Trademark. Not quite able to punch it in, but a core flip from Trademark. Ooh. Not enough. Goes into the black hole, and that will be reset. And, and there goes the goal barrier for Zoro. That was fairly simple. Yeah, and now it's up to oh, Rasmus to man. throw it back in. And now, again, it's one-to-one -one and one-to-one. -one. I mean, it is as close as it can get, and both sides are doing amazing. Yeah, an amazing self-dribbling from E.T. Han there to get the goal barrier and then pass up to Witching, putting that pressure on Zoro to be able to score. Yeah, and now I'm starting to think we're seeing the black hole consumed a lot on spawn. Uh, when we saw it before, it felt like it was almost on purpose. People just wanted to get rid of it. I wonder if we're hitting that point again. Yeah, it could be. I mean, that's a legitimate strategy to keep that off the field. Yeah. I mean, oh, oh! Wow! In a crazy angle from Trademark, sinks it in as the goal gates just barely start to open. That's salute worthy if I've ever seen it. I mean, a great shot, great timing, great angle, great play from Trademark to punch that one in and go up to 2-1 to one and threaten another point <laughs> for SLU here. Yeah, we're seeing right now from both sides, Coin is putting up a lot of pressure, but Soren able to keep it out of the goal range. Will they be able to keep this up? And ET Han staggered on the other side of the field. Might be able to get that KO there. They're still looking for it. A little bit of the like stagger back. Find it. As he will heal back, and he is now unstaggered. But still, I mean, <laughs> so much damage coming out, and I would love to see just damage numbers in general <laughs> after this game. But I mean, people get launched around as coin for the side of St. Louis does fall in. Oh. In danger! We've got 2-2. Two, two. Next goal goes up to 2-1. This, These teams are so evenly matched, guys. Yeah, And you see there, that black hole is so deadly. Yeah. It does so much damage and could just straight up KO you. Like, Especially in these brawler comps where you're just taking so much damage. Sometimes 
you'll just go into it as it's spawning, it, you just die. Yeah. Oh, it's such man. a scary situation as Soren does miss his core flip there and now in an uncomfortable situation, but is able to clear the ball, uh, the core slightly, excuse me. Wow, saves the goal barrier there, and we see a core flip the other direction. Now down to one goal barrier for both sides on the same side. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Soren does let one through. We see a core flip at an interesting angle, oh, but oh. Soren's down. This is a window Heads for up. SLU. <laughs> That's two down. Here comes X, baby. Oh. There it goes. Wow. SLU pulling ahead 2-1. And that is, unironically, <laughs> the X Factor. Oh, like, my just God, Just showing man. the power of that X there. Ooh. Being able... Oh, oh and oh. we do see the quick strikes. But the Xs are so late. Oh, yeah. We see Rasmus is looking. He's like, I don't know if I want to give this up or not. Who's if you're SLU, do you just take it away? <gasps> oh, they, they don't. don't. Oh, so, man. Oh. This is like community well-known fact. When you give X quick strike, <laughs> That's it becomes terrifying. scary. <laughs> yeah, because you got to remember the X ult makes it so your strikes can hit players, and your strikes are faster, so you get so much more damage with that. It, it's so scary. Yeah. We'll have to see it when Coin uses his special. I'll try to call it out when it happens. But for now, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Down. One, one, two. two. Yep. Oh, wow. Goal barriers down. <laughs> the I mean, anticlimactic. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, goal, goal barriers are down on both sides at the moment. Yeah. Wide open nets for both sides, and a great giga blast from Soren to stall that pressure. That was subtly a great oh. play. But Et Han, what was that? <laughs> Squeaking in an awkward goal, but striking first in game number four here. Really nice dash down to kind of predict where Zora wanted to send that and striking it himself, winning that strike for him, getting a nice goal for himself. Yeah, and we're seeing E.T. Han. It starts going. One punch into another, able to get one of the goal barriers. But now we're seeing Coin return the favor, and it runs out just a little bit. And E.T. Han just got his core strike, too. Right as goals open for SLU. E.T. Han now is a very, very dangerous Ooh, scoring five. threat. As Soren also has his core flip, and we've got a five-second death timer for Coin right now. Yeah, and forget the X's. What was that kind of damage? <laughs> yeah, that was wild. Yeah, we're hitting that. Oh, oh my god! Oh, no. oh and no. yeah, I mean, it doesn't take much at that point, but Soren finding wild kills onto Coin. I mean, back to back, you, you cannot afford to be dying that easily. Yeah, I think we're hitting a point now where we're starting to see that value from the other characters in the game, where it's starting to rack up. Early X is incredibly strong, and frankly, it'll stay strong as Coin gets a kill. Oh but the my point God. is still there, is that now some of these characters who do incredibly well later are beginning to hit that point. Yeah, I mean, great stuff as we see Trademark's core flip come up now as <laughs> Coin finds himself in an uncomfortable situation. Has to retreat a bit there, but E.T. Han looking for blood. Oh. And wow, uh, E.T. Han is not the one. I think that was Soren finding another pick, or maybe it was Rasmus Hook. I honestly yeah. missed it. To me, but it looked like Soren, which yeah. makes it crazy. These blasts are starting to hurt. Yeah, good patience there by Soren to wait out the um, crystals from Estelle. Um, but. Oh, Ooh, nice and pass a, play. Wow, yeah. I mean, Soren just kind of losing track of coin there, standing a little too far up so that he can't respond down low. And St. Louis is not out of this, this game yet. Yeah, and this game is, if you mess up even by a hair, it gets so hard. These two teams are playing so well that it's just, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's been such a long day of the Mega Strikers, right? These teams played five games of group play before we even started the bracket. Both of these teams did get the luxury of a first round bye, so they had to play um, one more series in semis. So that's what, six total games with Omega Strikers is nothing to scoff at. These teams have been here since early in the morning. So I'm sure a lot of the fatigue that we mentioned in the third place match is uh, these players are not immune to it by any means. 
Yeah, we're seeing Trademark beginning to put up that pressure, able to get the last goal barrier. Oh, nice save, wow. nice barrage to put that out with a core flip, trying to... Ooh, oh, coin! Jeez, so close to finding a great angle there, but just a little wide, and they we can't see a lot of pressure. pressure, but that was a great save by Soren. Pixels away from tying this game up and oh. we are deep in overtime right now is keep this... an eye on coin yeah the core is oh. wow oh, was that for the ko on sword <gasps> oh, <laughs> accidentally what? core flips it uh -huh. i i didn't even see what happened but soren oh. is being bullied right now in his own goal coin is beating up on soren oh. and there he goes soren is dead for 10 seconds but meanwhile oh. Oh. Itzi Han is able to find oh, the goal barrier, but it does not matter. This game is tied, and if SLU can find one more, they will take a 1-0 lead in this best of three series. Oh, oh my, my gosh. goodness. <laughs> and the X switching targets from that Whoa. other. Oh my gosh. Okay, as Kai just KOs the Estelle here. Oh my goodness. I mean, talk about pressure, right? I mean... There are two goal barriers on the other side, and you have an open goal, no core flips built up, but we're starting to see coins beginning to add a little bit more pressure. Trademark's getting that pressure as well. It's not a free goal. Once it opens, you still got to work for it. There's the black hole able to bring it back towards the middle. We have a 2-2 two -two oh. game right now with open nets both ways. But Lakeland punches it in and ties the series. We are going to game five in the first game of this best of three series. These games are getting confusing, but man, is this intense. And one thing I really want to go back on is the positioning of these X's. You saw at the beginning of the series, they kept fighting each other on the bottom of the map. The other characters on the top kind of letting them do their own thing. But now the X's are kind of just abusing the other members of the team. They've really swapped targets. They're putting on so much pressure, and you kind of have to 2v1 the X at this point. Yeah, and I think it's working great for both sides. We're not even really seeing that adjustment majorly benefit one side over the other. I think that was just a good move for both teams. Oh, to the heart's let... coming out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these teams are fired up. They're yelling at each other out in the arena, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's been so much fun watching these players get together, but Zoro does knock that one into his own goal barrier. <laughs> taking so much damage, though. Yeah, see if... Wow, and oh. two goal barriers Heads. right on the other end. See if Coin can punch it in. Not quite. But SLU maintaining possession for now. Well, trying to kill Witchings, both the X and the Kai. Oh, good hole there for Trademark to get out of that situation as... Lakeland started to kind of march down the map, but we're right back. This is this is dangerous territory. Trademark playing back to help Zoro defend the goal. Well played. Uh, but Coin looking to finish. Witching's off. He oh, can't hit him. <laughs> and meanwhile, Itzihan on the other side <laughs> helps beat up on Zoro and lets the long shot from Soren go in from one end to the other. Oh, my God. Goodness, man, I was, you're looking one way and then something happens the other, right? <laughs> yeah, I was distracted by coin wailing on uh, witchings that I, I didn't even... Oh, and yeah, he's just, just away. away. <laughs> but jeez, this who would have thought that in this game we talked so much about the X's potential to be oh. so deadly, but who would have thought that the most deadly player on really both sides is the Kai? sitting in the goal, randomly getting picks. This is wild. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing it. The game's getting long. Oh, oh my angles. There you go. Great use of the black hole to curve the ball, or the core back up. And we have open nets once again. Yeah, we're seeing coin with the special out. Doesn't get too much. Zoro's Kai sending it back to the left side. Will we get a score here? It's looking close. Trademark has used the dash. Oh, there, there are the needles. You go. Trademark and a really nice use of the crystal thorns there to really stuff that goal. Because if you hit it down, it's again still hit by those crystal thorns. So you have to time it at the last possible second, which is 
almost impossible to do. Yeah, really great timing from Trademark to force Soren into that situation. Um, just great stuff we're oh. seeing all around. But Witchy is just dead. I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> Coin Coin is now in his ultimate. That is worn off. Both X's have their corn flip, and they use it on oh. each other, and nothing comes of it. <laughs> This is now coin oh. staggered. Etihan being thrown around. These X's are looking to <laughs> murder each other. And the black hole is the one that does it. Trademark got a great shot there onto Etihan right after coin fell, but was not able to finish him off. And now Etihan oh. is not staggered at all. Really nice saves by Zoro. I say as they lose the gold <laughs> barrier there, unfortunately. Man alive. I mean, talk about the pressure. These players are just smacking each other <laughs> down and don't oh, care. Wow. It's one after another after another. There goes the goal We've barrier. It's open. The They're looking oh, at wow. that Kai. He's staggered. And now Coin sends in another point. And this is game five. SLU needs one more to wipe all their mistakes from this game away. And you, one thing you'll notice is Zoro actually has adrenaline rush. So he got so much speed there off that KO oh, that wow. he was able to just run up the field and assist in that goal. Now look at Zoro's core strike. Okay, there it is. <laughs> yeah, used and a little early, but get that's a... because they get that goal barrier. Yeah, you get a goal barrier off of it. Watch the black hole as Coin goes in on Witchings. Has his... Oh. Core flip, he might be able to finish him. Oh, the black <laughs> hole do it for him, and Coin keeps his core flip. Coin now staggered, needs to be oh. careful, it is forced to use it to survive the E.T. Han, but... Wow, okay, open net for Lakeland. Yeah, Rasmus, Rasmus is, is up. Is back. Oh my goodness. One more goal for SLU Watch will black hole. put this away. Great save by Soren. Blasts oh. Coin, <laughs> and we will see E.T. Han's core flip. Oh my goodness. Oh, these so nets are open. This is so tense. I can barely breathe. Yeah. Soren does get his core flip back, and E.T. Oh. Han finds a great angle. The next goal is going to win this game. Well, oh. <laughs> gosh. They know. They, they know what's about to go down. It's beautiful to see this aggressive play style. We haven't seen it much today. We talked about core control comps, and now we're seeing the slugfest aspect of this game. When it comes down to it, you can just punch your opponent and walk away, and we're seeing it in full force, as now St. Louis's goal is open, and they might go down for the first time in this series. This is uncomfortable, Fred. Oh, oh SLU does fall to Lakeland! SLU's first loss of this tournament. Oh, oh man. And who else but Lakeland, the two seed, the team that went up 2-0 on them in group play. Oh, is oh able my god. To take down the Titans this time. Let's let's say you get the same map too. Let's say you get Atlas's lab again. I mean, you said salty run back possibly. Yeah. Do you think? Uh, do you agree with that? I, I expect more so to go back to what they've been using for the most part. It could be map dependent. It could be the uh, strike dependent. As we do well, see the map, <laughs> we won't have to wait long. We do have Amy's app, and both of these teams have a have an outstanding Rasmus player. Yeah, are you willing to keep it up? Who, yeah. do you who addresses the elephant in the room? <gasps> they do! Oh, man. We have Atlas and Asher Bands. We are looking at a potential X pick again from Lakeland. Do they stick there with it? There it is. Now, we should see a Rasmus matchup, right? I would uh, imagine. Yeah, because I wonder if we're going to see the mirror matchup here. Just oh. the X-Rasmus oh. Kai on both sides. Oh, man. It's up to this last one, and I don't think we will see until we're into the loading <laughs> yeah. screen. Yeah, but. unfortunate spectator bug, but... Oh, man. Can you imagine? Oh, no, it's Jakar. not. There it is. There's so, that tradition. So trademarks, trademark Jakar. <laughs> right. So both Rasmuses, obviously, that was kind of to be expected on this map, but trademark saying, hey, I don't need X to beat you. I'm going to use my Jakar. Yeah, and I love that, honestly. I mean, what didn't work last game 
go back to what's been working this whole day, and that's been this combo of Rasmus and Drakkar. We didn't get to see it last game. They, you know, tried to switch it up, and it, although it was extremely close, was well, not quite enough. So back to the basics for SLU, and I think that's a great move. Absolutely. Yeah, now we do see... I. We're seeing that pressure already from Trademark and Coin. They are sitting in the enemy's territory for stupid amounts of time, getting the goal barrier. Oh, oh. Drakkar just knocks X into the middle. And he doesn't care. This it, is why he's number one. It was a Rasmus hook, too, that oh. comboed that into the hole. And, I mean, exhibit A of why Rasmus is such an influential pick on this map and why we were so confident that we would see both teams pull it out. As oh, coin looks for one of his own there, but is yeah. not able to find it. Yeah, Careful. And, and that Rasmus hook, as soon as he hit level two, he threw that out. He was anticipating, and he's just like, oh, I hit level two, yoink. <laughs> <laughs> and he got the kill off of it. It worked Ooh. great. There it is. Zoro forced to use his core flip, but we see another pick onto um, coin for the side of SLU. Or, yeah, SLU, excuse me. Um, Oh, look for a great angle there from E.T. Han, but not quite there. And a good clear from Zoro as now he just gets beat up for it. <laughs> oh, and the ult just expiring off the X. Can't hit stun Zoro with the strike there to get it in. Pressure coming off from Coin and Trademark. Zoro making a really nice save to get it back on the other side of the map. Oh, oh wow. And the overtime, that court is just zooming. Yeah, so the effects Ooh. of overtime really speeding up. Wow, we do see, um, shoot, what is oh, that Oh, the called? hot shot, too. Hot shot, that's it. Oh. Hot shot on everyone except for one of the Rasmus, who has prize fighter, which makes a lot of sense. Wow. I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the value, it'll be interesting to see the value as we go on. Um, we do see Witch Kings begin to lose a good amount of stagger as the gold barrier does go down for the side of Lakeside, but that happened before. We do see Coin begin to walk up. Witchings is looking at Trademark a little bit, trying to see what opportunities they might have. Oh, good look there from Coin using his his pull to try to make his uh, solo play on Soren, but not quite there. And here comes Trademark on his Drakkar, but easily dealt with. Oh, oh and that goes in! Goodness. Zoro not able to get there in time and two goals in a row to open this game for Lakeland. Right now, this is looking like X has been the factor this entire time that has separated these games. Is Coin and Trademark have just not been able to keep up this pressure as they'd like because E.T. Han is wailing on to Zoro. <laughs> and one thing I didn't mention before with these levels is that speed. You get speed from leveling up, and so being able to just abuse these slow goals at the start of this game as oh, the wow. angle My is incredible God. from Witchings. And stunned by E.T. Han's punch. It was all in play, and suddenly Lakeland took a commanding lead of the start of the series. At 3-0 to answer St. Louis's adjustments, right? They're saying, hey, it's working for us, and uh, evidently they're not feeling the threat of SLU's adjustments, but we also know how scary Drakkar can be in a longer game. And obviously Rasmus for both sides, as uh, we do see extra special taken on SLU's Rasmus being coin and rapid fire going to witchings, but man, I mean, yeah, Lakeland just seemed to kind of shrug that round off completely. I do think, and I'll mention it again, I take X, like X is strong. No one can deny that. But what we can talk about is that I do truly think that there are other characters in this game that have a better scaling with these awakenings. As it goes on, it's just a matter of can St. Louis hold on to that point? Because Drakkar and Rasmus, as they keep going through, can become menaces. Oh, oh and what a great play by Trademark there. That's that's what we're used to, right? This is the best Drakkar in the world. He's got that timing down. Forcing Soren really doesn't have an option. I mean, like, I, I can't say forces him to do something uncomfortable. 
because he has to hit it back into the Drakkar shot, and it's such great timing for Trademark, and that's something you're really only going to get consistently from a player like him. Yeah, now we're starting to see, we saw Coin use the special, but now it's a lot of the way again? that okay. Coin and Trademark are positioning, it's almost like a diamond, or more like a ruby is the best way to describe it, is they stay in the middle. They were aware of the issues from last time and are trying their best to not be taken out so easily, and now we're seeing that effect. They stay at these angles so that it's rough. Even if you have the pull on Rasmus, you're not going to get value like we see there. Yeah, and meanwhile, this whole time, Etihan is just sitting in the goal of SLU just beating on Zoro as we finally see the, the goal barrier drop for SLU, but certainly not out of this yet. Yeah. We are well into overtime now. Trademark and coin. See if they can Ooh. find this this dream oh. matchup, but it's ETH overtime. On. And here we go. Trademark again. Makes it through the flames too. Maybe just a smidge too late. I looked at Chris on the desk <laughs> with the most you've got to be kidding me sort you of did. look. <laughs> How <laughs> in the world does it get through? Slipping by by pixels. Yeah. I mean, it's rare that we see Soren let one of those slide, but I mean, against players like Coin and Trademark, that's that's regular. But if we do see Trademark go down, that's not been a common occurrence. It is usually Coin being oh, oh, no. no. Soren does let a goal barrier fall. Man, look at Zoro's ability to absorb this pressure. He was down a player and still had X in his face, and that barrier's still not gone. And his ability to kill time, right? Keep sending it back up because they, Witchings and Etihan, had no play set up there. So he can just keep sending it up there, knowing that he's not going to let it pass them, and wait for Trademark to come back alive. That was great stuff there from Zoro. Yeah, and I think Coin and Trademark are doing a really good job of oh, knowing man. when they have to help their goalie. Because you've seen there's so many times where it is just like a 2v2, no and they're just helping their goalie so much absorb this pressure. Yeah. Look how far Zoro is playing ahead. He knows that X is in his face. Why sit back if he's going to be standing there? You might as well walk up a little bit. Match X's tempo. There is the oh, goal barrier did. finally going down, Ooh, but it's wow. sent right back by Rasmus. Coin getting that in, and suddenly, did I say commanding? Because we're even again. <laughs> right, a 3-0 responded with a 3-0. We are tied in game two, 1-1, one one, as we head into game three. Man, okay, now this is important. So we do see the missile prop. This Kai should take, yeah, and Got he it. will take the missile prop. So important to have on Kai. It extends the range of just all of your abilities. You have can affect the map so much more. Yeah, and we do see cast to last on X so that his special will last longer. Adrenaline rush on Drakkar, which means that he's going to be moving around the map more. It's going to get a little crazy. We're hitting that scaling point, and I think that that win for St. Louis just brought them back into the series. Yeah, and I want to point out too, um, I believe it was Witchings that took um, Adrenaline Rush. So now look out for him to be getting even more kills and being able to capitalize on them with crazy speed anytime he gets a kill. Yeah, look oh. at X. X is down. We're at that point now. It's becoming oh, awkward. But never mind. As, wow, a coin on SLU's side falls right in response. Man, all right. Look at Trademark. Keeping up the pressure a little bit. Able to use the step. Oh, oh my the hook. goodness. And here comes that witching speed that I was talking about. And just like that, able to punish a quick kill into the Amy app void. And look out for this witching's hooks because he will be flying around the map if he gets killed. Yeah, and that adrenaline rush really coming in clutch it provides so much speed and resets your cooldowns that he just had so much pressure. Yeah, and now we're seeing this awkward point where E.T. Han is earning a lot of respect Whoa. from the players that they wow. have to answer him. Despite him going down, Witchings has a good opportunity, is unable to get the follow-up, but the goal is open on St. Louis' side. A trademark this time with the Adrenaline Rush, not able to find anything with it as X respawns here. Oh my goodness. Coin going back. 
Witchings Looks has the core, the core flip. flip. Throws it up to oh. X. Great pass from Witchings, finding E.T. Han behind enemy lines. Wide open shot for him. That was fairly easy if you're Lakeland. Yeah, I mean, this is looking, again, just commanding. It's impressive at this point how much value each <laughs> the side of Lakeland is getting from these attacks, and it's just because they feel pressured to answer E.T. Han. Trademark and Coin are sitting back for the first time in this series, yeah. and they're staying there. They help the goalie, absolutely, but they don't do it for this long. They feel like they want to move forward. E.T. Han got picked there, so now SLU has a numbers advantage, and we'll see if they can do anything with it, as Soren doing a great job of keeping the core on SLU's side of the field. As now, I mean, with enough time killed, E.T. Han is right back in 100%. Oh, yeah, but we do see there. Rasmus goes down. Now that number advantage is back. And now I imagine, yeah, X is going to have to respond. He can't be sitting in Zoro's face during all of this. Now they're just looking, finding some way to get to this goal. Will they knock down the barrier? Not yet. And a great evade there to stop the, the onslaught from Drakkar uh, to dodge his, his shotgun bullet. And then, oh, a great... Core, uh, core flip there from Zoro, but trademark is oh, staggered, but so X. is E.T. Han. This is dangerous for both of them, but neither one going oh. down just yet. <laughs> They're both oh, so close, and goes. trademark will fall. Oh, oh no. no. We have a double KO. Zoro, Zoro on an oh. island. Nope. Nothing he can do about that. We go 3-0, 3-0, This game two is now two to one in favor of Lakeland. And if Lakeland gets one more, SLU is on their heels. Yeah. Oh, unlimited built diff. Oh, oh, good eye. We do see um, Witchings opting for prime time. Um, wow. There's one built different. Yeah, one two. Two down. <laughs> I imagine there's heavy, heavy impact. Will we see one two punch? Super charge. Super surge. Okay. Super surge. Hard to complain about. Um, two I'm build difference and they're on the cars. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about super surge over one two punch for uh, ET Han? So I kind of like it in the situation where ET Han, you're not as focused on KOing like immediately off the one two punch. But the super surge, you're going to get such a longer dash and it's going to hit so much harder where. Wow. Oh my god, Can't look how fast he's moving. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Dracar's <kick> hustling. <laughs> yeah, trademark on this Dracar just flying around the map with that same adrenaline rush. Great play by Coin to get the goal barrier oh. down finally. And wow, oh, so oh. And the bounce off the middle. Wow, Sword was doing such a great job of mitigating damage in these in these <laughs> shots on goal, but just an awkward bounce off the hole in the middle and catch a sore in the sleep. Yeah, it, right now it's really beginning to look like whoever has control of this core first is going to have this momentum, which might sound obvious, but we've been seeing it all game where this core goes crazy. This core bounces around the map at stupid speeds, and yet now we're seeing the value of it. Kai sending it down. Will he be able to get a pass? He can. Zoro able to get a little bit of breathing room. Witchings looking back. We see the core flip come out from Coin. Unable to get it. E.T. Han is staggered. Oh, a There's the hook. for SLU. All right. Now you got the time. You need to get this open now. But they can't even get the goal barrier. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's got to pass it up. He's playing it out of his mind. They're oh. not able to get it. Soren, the iron wall here. Wow! Oh my Stalling goodness. out a double KO, a two-man numbers advantage for SLU, and they come out empty-handed, not even a goal barrier to show for it. And I mean, that was just multiple 50-50s at that point, and Soren managed to call them all out. You had to give that breathing room if you thought that the core was going to trademark, and they just didn't at that point. It's impressive. 
Down goes Coin, and now we have a numbers advantage the other direction. Trademark forced to use his core flip. Zoro not e. particularly has close his. to his, but yes, Etihan does use his ultimate, and he also has a core flip coming. But Trademark is back. Coin is back. Excuse me. Uh, but still no goal barrier How? for SLU. Soren is clamping oh. down and giving his team enough time to finally find the hole in Zoro's defense, and this is unbelievable. The first non 3 0 for this part of Amy's app. It's looking a little scary if I'm St. Louis, because now. The breaking that statistic is not in your favor. Oh, as oh, down goes Coin, and we have another numbers advantage. They do save the goal barrier three times in a row, four times, surviving the onslaught. Zoro saying, I can put on a show too, but we do see Trademark go down, and oh, wow, it's still no goal barrier for Lakeland, and wow, Drakkar up in two seconds. Okay. Zoro, oh, just lets that one slide by, but Trademark is back and ready to get to work. And these Kai goalies putting up such an impressive performance. Oh, oh one slips by. Wow. It's, it's do or die. It is do or die right here, right now. Yeah, we, we have never seen SLU in a situation like this. Now with one goal, Lakeland can win this entire tournament after losing, after getting reverse swept by St. Louis earlier in play. Already up. Barrier down. Do we see? Oh! And who else but Soren puts it away, puts the nail in the coffin. Lakeland are your collegiate Omega Strikers land winners. And we are here after such a competitive grand final series. We went to game five, we went two to two, we had sudden deaths. I mean, what else could you have asked for for a grand finals series? And right now with me, I have the St. Louis University team. They are our runner-ups of our collegiate tournament. Guys, how, how are we feeling right now? Let's start with you. We did a very good job. I'm very proud of our performance. Not exactly satisfied yet, but... I'm glad we were able to make a very good show. Thank you for having us. Yeah, of course. It was so good watching you guys play. My friends, do you have anything else to say as well? Yeah, I mean, the event was awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much for putting this on. It was one of the most fun, thing, most fun things that we've done in Collegiate. Um, and yeah, uh, shout outs to the enemy team. Uh, we had to fight a brick wall, which was a lot of fun, but it was a fun series, yeah. Great. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Thank you. Uh, I'm just really happy to be here. It's been a fantastic few couple days with my friends. It's been fantastic to play this game. I'm really, really happy that it's finally here after everyone's been waiting. Uh, the games against Lakeland are what we're hoping the level of competition always gets to, where it's one way or another coin, fl coin flip, whoever plays better and just goes through it. And it was really, really fun, and we're excited to play them again in future events. Looking forward to it, everybody. Your runner-ups of the Collegiate Land Omega Strikers Tournament. <laughs> And now, your Grand Finals champions. The team that has created their story. The team that has claimed their glory. And the team that has rewritten history. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in congratulating your Grand Champions, Lakeland University. Come down, my friends. All right, so I'm going to start with the same question for each and every one of you. First off, you got the money. Second off, you're the pioneers, the first team of the legacy to win this collegiate tournament. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling great, honestly. Uh, just driving out down here and being able to compete in something so big, so, like, it's just amazing, honestly. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, my friend Soren, how are you feeling? Um, I'm pretty much on cloud nine right now. I mean... <laughs> God, I felt like crap coming here. I up because I felt an all nighter before too. So I was dead. Woke up a little bit more refreshed. Came here, started off a bit slow, but I'm so happy. We won. I'm like pumped right now. Uh, yeah, it was, I don't have many words right now. 
Yeah, speechless indeed. And then, of course, our final player from Lakeland. How are you feeling? I am so proud of myself right now. <laughs> like, you know, like, the trip I had to do to even, like, play this game with them on this level, like, I put in so many hours. It was two weeks. It wasn't even a month. It was, like, two weeks max, and, like, half the time it was against, like, top 20 players in the world. So, like, it was a brick wall I'm throwing myself at, and, you know, I feel like I broke through the bricks. I am so happy to be here today. Ladies and gentlemen, your Collegiate Omega Striker Showdown champions, Lakeland University. Yeah, you're welcome to sit down, Mark. You're welcome to sit down. You can go sit down now. Oh. <laughs> now. After such an incredible game today, Omega Strikers going so many different overtimes, so many different sudden deaths, so many different reverse sweeps and everything in between, you couldn't have asked for a better tournament. Thank you to everyone who helped put this on, from Odyssey to Omega Strikers, to the staff, to the coaches, to the players, to the teams, to the fans, both in person and online. We could not have done this without any of you. So now... Without further ado, we're going to send you to some of our best replays of the day. So wherever you may be, morning, evening, afternoon, I guess you could say we're striking out. 